What's going on guys? Today we're doing a review of the Griffin Survivor Summit case. This one happens to be for the iPhone 6 and the upcoming 6S. And then they also have a model available for the 6 Plus and 6 Plus S. Or 6S Plus. I can never remember which one that is. Um, anyway, this goes for about $50 and the larger model for the 6 Plus goes for $60. Um, this is a new model in Griffin Survivor Series. And for those of you that don't know, uh, the Survivor cases are kind of their rugged cases that compete with um, the OtterBox, Defender, and the LifeProof cases. Um, this one is a black and clear model. And then they also have a pink and black, um, all black, and then a blue and black. Um, in terms of protection, this is not a waterproof case. It's just water resistant. Um, so it's like the the Survivor All-Terrain, which is the predecessor to this case, as well as other cases like the uh, OtterBox Defender. Um, taking a look at the back, they show you the components and the different types of protection. Uh, basically what it boils down to is it's rated for 10-foot drop protection, uh, IP55 water resistance, which means it can be rained on, it can have water sprayed on it, but it can't actually be submerged in water. Um, also has dust protection, and screen protection because it has an integrated screen protector. So uh, I put this back in the box but I've been using this for a while just to get a, an idea of how well it works. And this is what the case looks like. Um, like a lot of the rugged cases it does come with a belt clip which I found is kind of difficult to get on and off, but that's probably a good thing because you don't want it letting go. Um, the, the belt clip can be used either vertically or can be rotated to be used horizontally. And the phone can go in uh, either screen out or screen in. And it can also be rotated in either direction. So it's a very flexible stand. Um, this can also be used, it has a kickstand feature. You can pop that back and then put your phone in there and it'll prop it up. Uh, so you can watch a movie or make a FaceTime call. Now looking at the case, uh, like I said, this is a water resistant case, so it does have an integrated screen protector. And if you're familiar with any of the other Survivor, like the all-terrain case or the outer box defender, there's usually a bunch of different layers uh, where you have to put the phone into one layer and then usually snap another shell onto that and then wrap the rubber layer over that and then the screen protector clicks on. Um, they're always kind of a hassle. Um, so what attracted me to this case is that it's just a slide design like that. So the screen protector, you can see it there, is just integrated into this top cover which slides down onto the main body. And this is what it looks like inside of the case. Uh, there are a couple different materials used here. Um, on all models, or all, all different colors, um, you have a plastic shell. The clear version is the only one that has a transparent finish to it. The, uh, the black one, the blue one, and the pink one are all opaque, so you can't see through them. Um, and then there's also, it feels like a polyurethane, it's a hard rubber coating on the outside. And the nice thing about that versus like a silicone rubber is that it's, it's soft, but it's not grippy. So it's not going to stick to your pocket. Um, and in my use so far, it hasn't collected lint like some cases do. Um, the other thing with this design, by not having a bunch of separate layers, it's very thin. Um, if you compare it to the iPhone itself, you I mean you can see that it, it adds some width, but not much, not nearly as much as with uh, certain other cases. Uh, where it is notice noticeably bigger is in terms of the uh, the side the, the um, sorry the the overall dimensions um, for the height and the width. This is a Spigen Neo Hybrid case. This is the case that I usually use day to day. Um, and this is really not much bigger than the iPhone itself. So you can see 
from a thickness standpoint, it really doesn't add a whole lot. Inside the case, like I said, you've got this plastic, and then you also have a really soft silicone layer, and this is what contributes to the very good drop protection. And I'll see if I can show it here. You can see these kind of hollow pockets in the corner, and so the, the whole phone rests inside the silicone band and you get the drop protection because of the the flex kind of the suspension that's built in into the corners so the whole phone is suspended in that silicone layer um, all the buttons are covered and they're fairly e easy to press um, they're not the easiest you know a, a case like the neo hybrid which has separate buttons is a lot easier uh, to press and you get a nice click. This isn't bad, um, but if you're looking for a button that's really easy to press, um, these do have a little bit of resistance to them. Uh, same thing with the lock button on the side. Uh, one nice thing about this that I, I didn't realize when I'd ordered it is that the mute switch, um, rather than having uh, a rubber flap that you have to open to access the mute switch, it actually has a slider. And if we take a look inside, you can see that there's just a little ridge in there that the mute switch sits inside and then when you move this it turns it on and off. The only traditional port covers that you have um, like with many other cases are down on the bottom for the headphone port and then for the lightning port and they're all on the same strip so if you want to have access to the charging port then you need to open up this whole thing. Though it is kind of hinged in the middle, so if you just want to have headphones plugged in, you can just open up the smaller portion on the side. Um, the headphone port isn't huge. It's big enough for most modern headphones that are designed to work with thin phone cases. Um, and there's also not a lot of room for the lightning charging port. Um, obviously it's big enough for the Apple connector and it also works just fine with uh, the Amazon connector. So if you've used one of those, you have a good idea of um, how thick that is. Um, so that's that. And then any of the areas that need to have sound pass through, such as the microphone input down here, the speaker port down on the bottom and the earpiece up here at the top actually as well as the microphone for the video camera they all have this film which is a waterproof acoustic film sorry it's hard to focus on this there we go and that covers all of those sections so it does keep the water out but does allow the sound to pass through And then another change, if you've used the old Griffin Survivor all-terrain case, they used to have a rubber flap. They got rid of that, uh, fortunately, for the iPhone 6 model. And then this also does not have a rubber flap. So what it does have instead, um, you can kind of see the, the glare maybe on those the lens covers. Um, it does have two pieces of plastic that cover the camera lens as well as the flash. So putting the phone in this is extremely easy. Uh, the only thing that you really have to, to be careful of is to make sure that the mute switch is in the same position that it is on the phone. So right now my phone is on silent, so the mute switch here has to be pressed down. You line that up, just press it in, very easy. Wipe the screen off a little bit. And then the screen protector just slides down. And 
Now the screen protector has this plastic flap that clicks into place. You can hear that. And it also locks in on the bottom. So it's real easy to get your phone in, um, but it is kind of hard when you want to take the screen protector off. You have to dig your kind of fingernails into this little lip right here and then pull it away from the back of the phone and up to, to get it off of the, the latch. So it's kind of a pain, um, but it is very secure when it's on there. And you can see because this is the clear model, you can see through the back uh, to the iPhone and then they also have the word survivor kind of printed on there. Um, fit and finish is really good. It feels very sturdy. There's no sloppiness or play that you can feel. Um, you can see that the mute switch works just the way that it's supposed to. The touch ID sensor is covered and I kind of like that they use this sort of um, kind of a matte finish film uh, because if you've ever used any other cases that have a cover that goes over the touch ID sensor it tends to be a clear a clear rubber film and it always looks it looks inconsistent it's very sticky and it kind of has like a watermark on the uh, on the touch ID sensor so although this kind of stands out um, I think it does look a little bit nicer and um, despite the fact that it's matte uh, the touch ID still works just fine and you can see there that the buttons work uh, just as they're supposed to um, so I've been using this case for a little while now and for my purposes uh, you know I take it camping um, when I go mountain biking I like to put it in a in a case like this so that when I throw it in my hydration pack I don't have to worry about it getting dinged up um, for my uses it's it's great but if you're using it as your day-to-day -day case there's kind of one main sort of design flaw I think for this case um, and that is the screen protector on this one it's a it's sort of a hard plastic sheet and it doesn't get the the rainbow effect that some screen protectors do where they they touch the screen and then you sort of get a I'm sure you've seen it before a kind of a rainbow you see different colors scattered over the screen this doesn't have that at all but the screen protector sits feels like maybe half a millimeter off the top of the screen so it feels like an old resistive touch screen if you've ever used one of those where you have to use a little pressure to kind of push the screen down and then touch the actual phone screen underneath it and I think that's due in part to the fact that the touch ID sensor or the touch ID cover and the acoustic um, water resistant material up here they both sit underneath the screen protector between the screen protector and the phone screen so because they're there they're going to create a gap that runs up and it's most prevalent in the middle it's not as bad on the sides and it doesn't affect the way you use the phone at all um, you can see that you know that works uh, just fine but if you touch the screen very lightly you might be able to hear this if I use light pressure it doesn't register you do have to press the screen protector down to the screen so it's not a huge problem um, just something to be aware of and uh, I think that's about it um, all in all it's a really good case it's probably the slimmest case that I've seen um, that offers this level of protection I know the lifeproof cases are waterproof and about this this thick um, but other than that the the rugged cases tend to be quite a bit thicker than this um, but by using this this design where all of the different material layers are integrated into one piece um, they were re really able to shave off a lot of the thickness on this case um, I think it's a good looking case and it's nice to use so check it out thanks